we might be in a bit of trouble. Good morning. Yesterday was my 37th birthday, and you know, while most people <laughs> probably want to go do something fun on their birthday, I wanted to do labor. Of course, this type of labor is fun to me. I planted a bunch of marigolds. Usually I do have my dahlias in these planter beds, but I really just wanted to do marigolds this year. And then we also planted our clover lawn alternative. It should take probably about two weeks before we see anything. And that is just all along this front patch. And I also had it come into the, uh, the cracks here because I thought that would be really cute. So it's just all along this front patch because there is already clover growing in this area and I just thought like, why not? But yeah, we've we've tried for a couple of years now for grass out here and it's just not, I don't know if it's the soil that's crap or if it's just this climate, grass does not like zone nine. So uh, we're trying clover, we'll see if it works. There were a couple of other things I wanted to get done. I wanted to get um, the backyard all cleaned up so we can start moving our patio furniture back out now that the rainy seasons are sort of subsiding. And then of course, I really wanted to paint at least one of the walls in the nursery. I actually figured out that a lot of my headaches were from this pollen because we had a crazy wind storm. And there's just pollen everywhere and it's uh, it rained yesterday so I'm not having much of an effect right now, but. I got some of these leaves in a pile. There's a bunch of pollen in here too. But yeah, this, this pollen is just everywhere back here. So Cameron said he's gonna clean this up for me and uh, we're gonna wash wash the uh, pollen down the drain as, as best we can. But yeah, it would be nice to get our, our furniture back out here and be able to enjoy the backyard before the mosquitoes come. That being said, I really hope since the landlord did fix the storm drain, because I think that's where they came from. The water was just sitting under the, the ground underneath our, our yard. So I'm kind of hoping that, that that's going to resolve the mosquito issue. But yeah, that is my plan today. Once Kieran goes down for his nap, I would really love to paint one of the walls in the nursery. I mean, we'll see how much I can get done. I really need to listen to my body, rest when I need to rest. And uh, I'll probably have Cameron do the stuff that's up closer towards the ceiling. And I'll just tape off and do like the, the stuff around the, the baseboards today. Kieran's down for a nap. I just ferried a bunch of painting stuff up three times <laughs> up the stairs. So I'm a little pooped already. I should have just asked Cameron to bring it all upstairs, but I wasn't thinking. He did he did do my chores for me yesterday though. That was really nice. Gotta hide the crib a little bit and the name sign. But yes, this is the wall that I'm gonna be painting today. I originally wasn't going to paint the walls, especially because we're gonna be leaving in a year anyway and we'll have to paint them back white. But I just really felt like all of the white nursery furniture was kind of getting lost in the white walls. So I am not quite ready to share all of the nursery stuff, but I will be doing a big nursery reveal probably at the end of the month. Right now, I'm just gonna move everything out of the way so I can get to that wall. I'm 100% positive we're painting this wall as well as this one, so that's why the corner is not taped off. Time to get the roller out. Oh my gosh, 
Yes, it's already adding so much more dimension. Okay, <laughs> I got this wall done, except for, you know, up there. But um, we might be in a bit of trouble because I sent pictures to Cameron and he is absolutely obsessed with it and so am I. So we might end up doing the whole room. Not right now, obviously. <laughs> I just want to get this wall and, and that one done, you know, so the nursery stuff looks all cute and everything. But the way it's looking, it's so beautiful. I think it would be a crime to not do the whole room in this color. It's just so calming and pretty. That and it really goes well with our bed sheets. Whew, I'm gonna need a little five minute breather and we're gonna get back to it. Okay, listen, I couldn't wait for Cameron to come help me. But it's okay, because this thing's really tall and it was super easy. I wasn't, you know, dangerous at all. <laughs> I can't just, you know, like that's the nesting part of me. So here we go, ready? Yes. Still have to um, steam clean the carpets, but I am loving this so much. I can't wait to get this one done as well. I just feel like this color really ties in well with these greens and I think it really complements the yellows and pinks. Yeah, I really, I feel like this is gonna look killer with some of the, the natural wood and macrame accents that we got and all of the floral, like I really can't wait. The end of the month, the end of the month, the um, nursery reveal is coming. I'm so excited. Whew, well, Kieran's up, I got Gotta get lunch for him, and then I think we're gonna try to make our, our two mile walk today. Well, I was really planning on attempting to do this other wall tonight, um, and then I don't know if you can see, like my eyes are super red because on our walk there was just a bunch of pollen and it's like made my eyes really itchy and watery. So I'm uh, not really feeling that well right now. <laughs> but you know, at least I got the, the light switch plates off of there. So that's, you know, a little jump start for the morning. I know I didn't talk much about, you know, my birthday or anything or even like film that much. To be honest, I really just needed like the day off. But of course I had to <laughs> get some B-roll footage of my, my meatloaf cake. It was really good, by the way. It was probably one of the best meatloafs I've ever made. And I made it with pork rinds instead of breadcrumbs. It was just, it was so good. Kieran and I were eating it um, for breakfast this morning. But yeah, you know, even on a, a day of celebration, I, I still can't seem to escape grief you know i think sometimes it's just in your body like it it's like a i don't know how to describe it i hadn't even really thought about it but it was you know every year on my birthday my mother would call me early in the morning and wish me happy birthday and that did not happen this year and it got me thinking about the fact that you know my mother passed away in May last year and we're coming up on one year without my mom. I think I do want to share something that I got for the nursery that is an homage to my mother and really it, it's a table lamp <laughs> and the color of the table lamp was is what inspired this paint color like completely. I really I was not going to share this piece of the nursery until we had our nursery reveal but i feel like i just really i really want to share it like now so if you don't know the significance of this particular flower this is a lily of the valley lamp and i don't even know how i found it i wasn't searching for anything that was lily of the valley it just happened to be advertised to me. And I thought, how bizarre. My mother's name is Susan, and the meaning of the name Susan is Lily of the Valley. And then incidentally, the May birth flower is also Lily of the Valley. May also happens to be the month that my mother passed away, and it's going to be the month that my baby is born. And I just really felt like this lamp was the perfect touch for the nursery, you know, to 
to pay homage to my mother and to also, you know, sort of tie in our daughter's birth month. But anyway, I, I hope that kind of answers the question of why I chose green paint for the walls. I know it's not the, the yellow. It was just this lamp that I, it really spoke to me. Anyway, I, I really need to get to bed and try to finish this wall so I can get to everything else that I gotta do this week. I hope y'all have a really wonderful week and I'll talk to you again soon.